Take the steering wheel in your life with my book, The Driver's Seat. Climb out of life's back seat and step into your God-given purpose. This isn't just a book. It's a wake-up call to action. As the author, I guide you through realizing your true potential and living with purpose. Break free from life's back seat and no seat belts and seize control of your own destiny. Your purpose isn't just a dream. It's your reality waiting to be lived. So discover this book right now at whatsgood.work. Click on the link that says buy my books. Take charge and transform your own journey today. Welcome to What's Good, a podcast where each episode is a journey into finding and feeding our good wolf. It's the best version of ourselves. I'm Jay Floyd, certified life coach and the mind behind the What's Good brand. I'm here to guide you through a deep dive into a single powerful topic every episode. Together, we'll explore how even the most seemingly mundane moments are still opportunities to nourish our positive nature. From uncovering life's hidden lessons to fortifying our inner strengths, What's Good is dedicated to helping you recognize and cultivate the goodness that exists in and around us. So join me on this journey as we seek out and savor the good in every aspect of our lives. Come on, let's go. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of What's Good, the podcast. Listen, we're going to, every single time on this show, I'm going to dig deep to try to find the good in certain aspects of things that might seem mundane. They might even seem like abstract. But no, I believe life is always feeding us what we need. Sometimes you just need to tweak the recipe, figure out the recipe, or even mine the minerals out of the rocks. So today we're going to talk about something that's near and dear to my profession, which is data. What's good about data management? Wow, this is a good one. Um, Listen, data is everywhere. In our digital age, it's the backbone of decision making. But have you ever considered how data management principles can still be applied to our daily lives? Let's talk about something that a lot of us data professionals understand, and that is data zones. One of the biggest things about data management is that there's all kinds of data, right? Some of it's structured, some of it's unstructured, some of it comes from reliable sources, some of it doesn't, some of it is unique, some of it is redundant, some of it has duplication, some of it can be trusted easily, some of it cannot. Some of it, you have to put in work to even understand what it is. I think that's a lot like how life is, right? So first, we have what we call raw data, right? We'll get into, I won't even use medallion distinctions yet, but if you look at raw data, we're collecting raw data. Just like organizations or companies, in life, we are collecting raw data at all times, right? As you go throughout your life, especially in social media, Right, you're scrolling and scrolling. It is raw data everywhere, right? Some of it is educational. Some of it's teaching you some things. Some of it's distracting you. Some of it is just absolutely ruining us, right? We don't even know. Some of it is very redundant. Some of it's wrong. Some of it's right, and we don't realize it. Some of it's wrong, and we don't realize it. So this is just like how raw data is for companies, and there's a lot of work you got to put in. It's it's okay. That raw data exists. There's nothing you can do about it. You have to dig in to that swamp. You have to, right? But it's important that once you start to dig into raw data, you don't just leave it there. We have to then transform it into something that we can use. So what we typically have next is something that we can call, for today's purposes, refined data. This is where we process our experiences. Okay, I saw this on Facebook, I saw this on LinkedIn, I might have saw this on Twitter or now known as X, but I have to add some context, I have to add in my education, I got to add in my values, I I, I got to start to understand the implications, I got to eliminate some duplication, I have to throw things out if it's an untrusted source, right, I have to start to make those kind of decisions, is this data going to be useful to me 
down the road. It's okay that I looked at it. Sometimes it's not okay that I looked at it, right? Maybe it, it can ruin you to look at it. But now that I've looked at it, how can it be useful to me? That's how we start to bring it into this zone. And finally, you have modeled or useful data. That kind of data means this is really going to push me forward, right? Like I have goals. I have uh, things that I'm looking to measure in my life. I have things that are really important, particularly in my life. And now I could take some of this refined data and start to make decisions or plan actions around it. It is like the culmination of processing our experiences and using them to navigate our lives effectively. Right. One example, I can I might just see something extremely distracting on social media. Maybe I saw the Cat Williams uh, podcast with Shannon Sharp and and then I see people arguing about it left and right. Or I see something politically and people are arguing about it left and right. I have to go then refine that data and say, well, what do I get out of this? What's important to me? Maybe there are pieces of this Cat Williams video that are important. Maybe there are certain jewels that he dropped in that video that do have value to my life. And then I can start to say, okay, maybe I don't sit where he sits because I didn't experience what he experienced, but here's where I do sit. And here is the modeled, the modeled data at the end. So this raw data ends up impacting me in some way, but it impact me, it impacts me in a way that I feel is right and valuable for my life. All right. I hope that helps you. This is how we manage data in the tech world. And I believe it's also how it's a very good analogy to how we should manage the data that's flying into our inputs, our eyes, our ears, our brains at every day. If you're stuck in that raw stage, make sure you're refining and modeling it to enhance your decision making. Don't make decisions on the raw data. It's dangerous. Thank you, y'all. And join me again right here on What's Good Podcast. Ready to revolutionize your content creation? Discover Deep Brain AI, the cutting edge solution in AI video synthesis. Create lifelike AI videos with ease, ideal for presentations, educational content, or just boosting your digital marketing. Your AI avatar waits to deliver messages with natural expressions and natural voices. It'll be just like hearing and seeing you and me. Experience the future of communication with Deep Brain AI. Discover more right now at whatsgood.work and click on our link that says visit our sponsor.